San Antonio, about 1,400 miles, mostly south, a little bit west, Midland, Michigan. Brought my favorite animals with me today, the reptiles, snakes, turtles, lizards, and crocodilians. I always start with snakes. For all the reptiles, they are the easiest to recognize. What makes snakes so easy to recognize is not what they have, it's what they don't have. Arms, legs, fingers, toes, elbows, and knees, and external ears. Loud as I am, he can't hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? He's basically deaf. He senses vibration, but he can't hear like other animals. And he also doesn't have eyebrows. And I think this is the thing that freaks people out the most. You have no idea how many times I hear people walking around the trailer. That's always open, always free. It goes all the way around. And they're looking at all those snakes, and they'll say something like, that snake is staring at me. Well, if you don't have eyelids, folks, you're going to do a lot of staring. They can't wink, they can't blink, and you can't tell when they're sleeping. They do have bones. Some people think they don't have bones. They actually have a ton of bones. A big snake can have 400 vertebrae and 300 pairs of ribs. That's why they're so flexible. I need a little helper. Who's my first little helper? All right, buddy. Get in the blue. You gotta be fast. All right, sir, what's your name? Aiden, small python, not a tuber cold game. You can't squeeze it. I'm gonna lay it across your forearms. All right, buddy? Both forearms. Like that. Turn around, let her bed mine. How old are you, Aiden? Uh, 11. 11, old enough for a pet. Mom said hamster, dad said maybe a goldfish. Aiden comes home with a small python, puts it in an aquarium. He feeds it a rat every few weeks, has a clean bowl of water, keeps it warm in the winter. You all right, Aiden? You all right. Aiden's made a good choice. It's not a baby snake. This snake's older than Aiden. That's a 14-year-old female ball python, small gentle species from Africa, very shy, they wrap up in a ball, they stick their head in their coils. You all right, Aiden? Because I'm going to be busy, buddy. I'll be up here, but I'm going to be busy, so. I need someone big. Big, strong, maybe a little bit mean. You strong? You don't look that strong. You're, oh, you're horse strong. Okay, well. Come on up, man, girl. Let's see what you got. What's your name? Ashley? You're over 18, right? All right. Aiden Snake's 14 years old, Ashley. Yours is only six. How big can a snake get in six years, right, Ashley? Ashley's new PFF. Her name's Juanita. All right, Ashley, what's going to happen? I'm going to reach down there. I'm going to lift. You're going to have to duck. You'll put your head where my hands are. When you stand up, snake press on your shoulder. Anything you want, Ashley. Never, ever grab the snake. Push, push, lift, lift. Always like this. Never grab, all right? But you will have to duck. Okay, like 10 years ago, I had to grab that snake in the military like 30 times and put it on your shoulder. Yeah, those days are over. Okay. Yeah, there ain't no fall behind. You are not in Kansas anymore. Let's get one. Right here. Okay, straight up. Duck. Stand up. Aiden, what do you think about Ashley's snake? Does this look like a good pet, buddy? No, that'd be the correct answer. You got a dog. What? Watch his tail. Watch his tail. I really made her mad. You got a dog, Ashley? Yes, be prepared to start missing your dog. Because Juanita's six years old and she's going to get bigger. Juanita's a reticulated python. They're the longest species in the world. Right now, she's six years old, 15 feet, about 85 pounds. The record, 32 feet. Is she going to get that big? Of course not. I do think she'll get to be 20 feet, and at 20 feet she's going to weigh 200 pounds. At that size, it's going to take me, Ashley, three or four other folks. She's going to make us all look stupid. She's too big. She's too powerful. Is she pretty? Obviously. Is she tame? She's not that bad. She's too big. She just gets too big for most people. Ashley's got a little experience with snakes. She's a strong girl. She's doing okay. But believe me, this is a workout. The more active one I need it gets, the harder it gets. You girls get plenty of pictures? Yeah. Okay, all right. Good job. Sorry, I got it. Turn, just turn the cue left. You know, that slide off. There you go. Oh, nope, not too bad. Yeah, that is a bad spot. All right, good job. All right, you welcome. A little hand sanitizer there, Ashley. Yeah, big round of applause for Ashley and Aiden. They both did a great job. A little hand sanitizer there, buddy. All right. Another big snake. More little helpers. I need to see a bunch of hands up when I turn around. 
Take both of those feet, take all three of these. Get that one more. All right, come on. Make a line, we're looking that way. Shoulder to shoulder. Snake's only so big. All right, that's perfect. What's your name, sir? Reed. You're at the head of the line, you know what that means, buddy? You get to hold the head, you're a smart kid, Reed. Coming to you first, big boy, be ready, arms up. Reed's new buddy, his name is Apollo. Soaked him earlier, he may still be a little bit damp, it's all right. Okay, there we go, arms up. Big kid in the middle, arms up. Step up, step up. Step up, put your arms under there, not your hands, Reeves, your arms, buddy. Just like that, okay. Uh, that's an Apollo. He's a Burmese python. Obviously, he's an albino. Vietnam, what's wrong? Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand. He's about eight years old. He's probably eight feet, maybe 40 pounds. His girlfriend back in Texas is nine years old. But instead of eight feet, she's 14 feet. Instead of 40 pounds, she's 130 pounds. Females much, much bigger. If you ever see a snake, you can't believe how big they are. Always going to be a female. You're okay, Reed, unless that, that lady on the end yanks his tail, he's going to bite you. But other than that, you're perfectly fine. <laughs> Just kidding, Reed. Nobody's getting beat kids today. Just calm down, buddy. All right. All you mommies get pictures of these kids? Yes. <laughs> Usually let the, let the biggest one take one by themselves. Kind of got a tie, but step up, man. Release your, release your inner Britney Spears. Anybody oh, wait, taking a picture? Erica, Erica, wait, I gotta get you yes. All right. All right, guys. Big round of applause. Everybody, do their hands over there. The hand sanitizer. I'm gonna walk behind you. Stay there. You want them? Okay. One more snake. I'm gonna hold it myself. We'll go a little bit faster. I know it's hot. Last snake is very special. He's not big like Apollo or Juanita. He is very special. He's from California. We call him the California King Snake. Awesome. King Snake. So cool. Now you know he's not venomous by the way I'm holding him. I just told you he's never going to be big. In fact, this is an adult. He may get a little bit bigger, but he's an adult. Why is he the king? What makes him so special? Who knows? Somebody should know. What do you think? Eats other snakes. Exactly right. Doesn't care if you're a rattlesnake. If you're his size or smaller, you're on the menu. I feed him mice, he also eats birds, but he eats other snakes. I worked at the snake farm, Reptile Zoo in Texas. One day a lady came up to the counter and said, one of your snakes is eating himself. I knew there had to be a king snake, and it was. It's one of my very favorites called the Mexican Black, Jet Black, four feet long. I fed him three mice, he ate all of them. Well, he's stuck in a cage, he's still hungry, he starts eating his own tail. By the time I get there, he looks like a link of sausage. Pull about eight or nine inches of tail out of his mouth. He was fine, he was just still hungry. What other snake has the word king in his name? King Cobra happens to be the longest venomous snake in the world, able to kill an elephant with one bite. The reason we call him the King Cobra, he eats other snakes. All right, next group of reptiles, crocodilians, alligators, crocodiles, and caimans. My favorite group. Now this guy right here was an alligator. He was a big alligator. He was probably pushing 11 feet long. Alligator's got a very broad, powerful skull with a round snout. When the alligator's mouth is shut, all the teeth seem to be coming down from the top. These are the nostrils. These are the eyes. Shot in the eye has what killed him. So they shot him in the eye. The American crocodile gets bigger. This animal is younger, probably a female. So the female python gets bigger, the male crocodile gets bigger. Skull starts off wide, narrows down, V's down to a point. Got huge notches in the skull to make room for the teeth that jut up off the lower jaw. They're kind of beat up. This is kind of an old skull. It's taken a beating over the years. One live crocodilian in the show today, young American alligator. If I had to say, I'd say he's about four years old. I say if I had to say because I've only had him about a year and a half. I got him from Utah Division of Wildlife. 
When I got him, besides his snout being all curved up like that, he didn't have any teeth, which is not good for an alligator. Somebody had him, they didn't know how to take care of him. He was seriously calcium deficient. Uh, he looks better, he'll never look normal, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Not everybody needs an alligator. Uh, when he hatched out probably four years ago, he was about eight or nine inches. He grows about a foot a year for the next several years. Males get between 11 and 13 feet. Females get to be about seven to nine feet. For the first three years, he stayed with his mom. He didn't need mom to feed him. He's not a bird, he can feed himself. What he couldn't do is protect himself. Everybody wanted to eat a, a baby alligator. Big mouth bass, snapping turtles, birds of prey. Other alligators will eat babies that aren't their own. Face it, eight or nine inches, he was basically a corn dog with four legs. Now he does have ears. Remember snakes didn't have ears, he does have ears. Calm down. His ears are right here behind his eyes. He has eyelids, in fact he has three pairs of eyelids. One of those pairs is clear, that's the one he uses when he goes swimming. How fine would that be to go swimming and have a built-in set of goggles? Now the ears and the nostrils have muscular flaps. They contract right before he hits the water. His nostrils contract, his ears close, and his eye is protected with that clear eyelid. The bumps you see on his body, every one of these bumps is a piece of bone. They're like a jigsaw puzzle. They're not one big bone, they're a bunch of little bones that fit together. He doesn't have bones on the stomach, he's not going to be attacked from the stomach. The stomach's what they make the purses, the luggage, and the shoes out of. He can live 80 years. Crocodilians have been on Earth 200 million years. So they've already outlasted the dinosaur by 65 million years. In my mind, there's only one animal more successful than the crocodilian, and that would be the shark. Sharks haven't changed in about 300 million years. Okay. Moving right along, I know it's hot, so we're going to kind of maybe skip over a few little things and get right to turtles. My next turtle, resident of Michigan, you should be well familiar with. We call this turtle the common snapping turtle. Now the common snapping turtle, an aquatic carnivore, a predator, he is what I call an active predator. By active, I mean he actively pursues his prey. Frog, fish, crawdad, whatever he wants to eat, He's actively trying to chase it down. He's not a cheetah, didn't say he was, I just said he's active in his pursuit. He can live 40 years, he can get over 40 pounds. Oddly enough, this is one of the few reptiles that I know of that gets bigger up here than they do down south. Everything about reptiles would point to the fact that they'd be bigger down south, but the common snapper actually gets bigger up here in the north. I call this particular turtle Lucky. It's found Lucky in a lake outside of Houston about 12 years ago. Immediately recognize these three holes as being the bite of an alligator. Oh, wow. So one time Lucky got chomped on by a pretty good sized gator, somehow managed to fight his way free. If we can get Lucky to open his mouth, sometimes he likes to be stubborn, you're going to see it as pink on the inside. This is not unusual. Most, maybe one of those days, most animals have a pink mouth. I do, you do, most animals do. By having a pink mouth, lucky saying I am what I am. I happen to be a common snapper. I'm not trying to fool you. I'm not trying to mislead you. I'm not trying to misrepresent myself. Come on, buddy. Let's not make this any harder. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't have to. But I would like y'all guys to see it. Well, maybe it's not going to happen. What's that? Teeth. Teeth. No, no teeth. No teeth. No teeth. But he does have a pink mouth. Nice pink mouth. Lucky saying, I'm not trying to fool anybody. I am what I am. And I happen to be a common snapper. My next turtle will be different. My next turtle, a magnificent predator from the Southeast United States. We call this turtle the alligator snapping turtle. Now the first thing this guy's gonna do is open his mouth. Right off the bat, you're gonna see something very different. It's not pink. Because the alligator snapper, another aquatic carnivore, another predator, is not an active predator. He's an ambush predator. And when you're an ambush predator, you're all about camouflage. And in his case, camouflage starts with that big dark mouth. He has algae growing on his head, algae growing on his shell. Everything about this turtle is saying, I'm a rock. I can't hurt you. Don't be afraid of me. I'm just a rock. Now your eyes are a dead giveaway, you're an animal and possibly a potential predator. 
So his eyes and his eyelids, very bizarre looking. Now the, uh, hey, hey, quit that, quit that. No, don't do that. The alligator snapper has a flap in his throat so he can open his mouth underwater and he doesn't drown. Water just stays in his mouth. It doesn't go in his lungs. It doesn't go in his stomach. Quit that, quit that, quit that. Don't do that, I hate that. It just stays in his mouth. It doesn't go into his stomach. <laughs> so this, foul, this flap in his throat, he can hold his breath for over an hour. This is how he's gonna catch his food. He's gonna lay underneath the water. He's gonna get very, very still and he's going to wait for a fish to swim inside his mouth. Now you might be thinking that's a long wait. That'd be the logical thing to think. Hey, quit it. Well, nature's thought of that. In the bottom of his mouth, quit it. I'm going to have to hold your head for you. Don't make me do that. Don't do that. Okay. In the bottom of his mouth, there's a tiny appendage. It's not a tongue. That's a built-in fishing lure. It's about the size and color of a piece of pencil lead. It's dark gray very small. I can see it from here. You should be able to see it too. Now right now he just wants to bite somebody. Probably me, but anybody will do at this point. But when he wants to fish, he's going to force just a little bit of blood flow to that tiny dark gray appendage. It's going to go from being dark gray to a light pink. And then, without moving a muscle, he starts to wiggle that little appendage. He starts wiggling it. He's twitching it. It's going crazy. Right in the bottom of his mouth bottom part, that dark gray thing. So now you got a turtle that looks more like a rock. He's got a big hole in the rock, that's his mouth, and inside that hole, a nice pink juicy worm. The fish, they see that, they're attracted to it, they swim straight inside his mouth, bam, slam, shut his mouth, <laughs> and the turtle has lunch. That's all he's got to do now. I realize in this country, when we think about big time predators, we're not thinking about turtles. We think about bears, wolves, and cougars. I call them the glory animals. They live about 25 years. This guy right here, largest species, freshwater turtle in the world, record weight, 319 pounds. This is not a baby. I got him over 10 years ago from the LA Zoo. When he hatched out, he was this big. That's, yeah, you do that. In 10 years, this is what he's done, yet I feed him all he'll eat. What does that tell you? Two things. He grows slow, so he has to live a long time. The alligator snapper, can live over 200 years. We're going in the future. Last animal, star of the show. His name is Spartacus. Somewhere around 125 years old. No, I did not raise him from a baby. I will be asked that. If I don't get asked that before Arkansas State Fair, I will be asked that there. He's not that big for a turtle that old, 85 pounds. But I'm 62 and I'm not that big. Some people get big, some don't. Some turtles get big, some don't. He is the star of the show. For 20 years in 29 states, two Canadian provinces, Spartacus is the star. He comes out of that tent, people get excited. They yell, they scream, they clap. In Utah, those crazy Mormons start throwing money all over the stage. <laughs> the women are weeping, openly weeping. Pregnant women in the audience vow to name their unborn child Spartacus. Boy, girl, they don't care. Everybody's called Spartacus. All right. I'm from Texas. I don't lie. You can trust me. Okay. Here we go. Last down. All right, buddy. Three times today. Number one. Wow. Holy yeah. oh, smokes. <laughs> okay, it's still an ambush hunter. Still not chasing anything down. But instead of aquatic insects and crawdads, Spartacus eats adult ducks. That's his favorite. He'll also eat two to three pound bass. He'll eat other turtles. He'll eat snakes. He'll eat small alligators. At home, I feed him jumbo rats. On the road, he gets chicken from Walmart. He's only found in 11 states. He's protected in all of them, even Louisiana. Louisiana, the last state to protect the alligator snapper, because Louisiana will catch anything and put it in the gumbo pot. I don't mind people eating wild animals, unless you happen to be one of the five species in the world that can live 200 years. That's right, folks, five species. Two sharks, two turtles, one whale, that's it. In my mind, if you're that select, you're that exclusive, 
your final destination shouldn't be a soup bowl. Yet everywhere I go, people have eaten them. They all say the same thing. They're good. They taste like chicken. What do you think I say to that? Eat chicken. Haven't met a chicken yet to live 50 years, much less 200. He's not cute. He's not cuddly. And he doesn't want to be your friend. When he closes his mouth, he's got the 10th or 11th most powerful bite of any animal in the world, more powerful than the great white shark as a bite force over a thousand pounds per square inch. Just for your own information, uh, crocodilians own bite force. Four most powerful animals in the world, all crocodiles and alligators, but pound for pound, he can hold his own. I think he's the single finest species of turtle in the world. He lives only in the United States. All right. Spontaneous applause. Okay, what I'd like to do now, if you want to, you don't have to, Aiden, you're going to come up here. I got a special guest here today, folks, which I never have. I mean, I actually, I was actually excited. I was going to have to get free passes from the office, and then they told me it was free to get in. <laughs> but one time I've got relatives in from out of town, and I can't be a big shot. My sister's. Andy from Minnesota, Prissy from Texas, all the way up here to see me. I appreciate it. And they are going to help do this next thing also. I'm going to demonstrate on Aiden, and then I'll probably let them do it. Get out of the rocker. So I don't have to. That's not fair. This is what we're going to do. They'll both, Andy and Prissy both, will have a ball pipe, and you're going to walk up. They're going to take the snake, they're going to spread them apart a little bit, they're going to put them right there in the shoulders. You're going to look at the camera, put your chin up, look proud. They're going to take the picture, boom. We'll let you stand there for a second. You're reveling in the fact you're now a reptile person. We take the snake back off, the next person steps up. With both of them doing it, we can get done twice as fast. You hear that, kids? With two people doing it, you get done twice as fast. That's me using math in an everyday situation. All right. Thanks a lot for listening. Just play open all day long. Get you something to eat. Get